I still believe on some sad level that my mother could be normal. That maybe, just maybe, she'll have regrets about how she has lived her life as a wife and mother, tormenting her husband and daughter, and that she'll just snap out of it and be normal. I still have that hope. And I still think of her. I'm considerate of her. I was at um, a very nice dinner tonight, a 60th birthday party for a beloved member of my family. And I thought to bring home some food for her. Not how I don't live with her. Huh. No, she's up the hill, but I like, I, I had Ziploc baggies and I had a to-go container that I brought because I don't like to waste food and I did bring food home for myself. P.S. So good. And I thought, oh, I should bring her something. And I'm like, please. She doesn't appreciate it. I don't like cake. Oh, I can't eat this. Like, I, I've tried in the past to be a considerate, normal daughter and maybe bring her home a little plate of, you know, some of the desserts. Oh, here's some of the birthday cake. Here's a couple of pastries. And you know where I would see it the next day? On the fucking, oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to curse. Well, I said it. On the effing lawn. Yes, on the front lawn. She would throw it out to the animals. I have done this before. And I have been rejected over and over and over again. So at some point, you have to say, it was nice enough for me to think of her, but I'm not going to waste my effort for something that won't be appreciated. There was a write-up on me in a local... Uh, town magazine and uh it just like the there was a picture and an article and it was nice it was a nice magazine it was on faith and you know I've been a professor of religion for 21 years and I brought her a copy because on some level I still believe that perhaps She'll be proud of me. Maybe she'll ask one of her aides to read her the article. I wasn't going to sit there and read it to her. It's very, very hard for me to be around her for any period of time. I also didn't want to take the risk of me offering to read it to her and her being like, oh, that, that, that's all right, yeah, maybe, you know, and rejecting the offer. Like, she, her attention span is so poor. I remember my nephew wanted her to uh, FaceTime with his fiance. Uh, she wasn't here, but he was. And he said, oh, Grandma, look. And, you know, he was FaceTiming. And, oh, hi. Hi, Grandma Ada. And, uh, oh, hi. And after a few pleasantries were exchanged, she's like, all right, that's enough. Like, she couldn't be bothered having the conversation, even just listening, or even pretending to listen. She just couldn't be bothered. So I brought her the market magazine with the pic with the article on me and the picture of me. And uh, I couldn't bear to sit and read it to her. And so I was over there. I'm there once or twice a week at least. And I said, oh, oh, where's the copy I brought you? Oh, I sent it home with Tina. You gave it away. You, you gave it away. Like, you couldn't even hang on to it in case someone would visit. And you could be like, oh, there was a write-up on lease. No, you couldn't wait to get it out of the house. I saw that there's a... Somebody posted a video about why narcissistic mothers compete with their daughters. In the future, I will be doing more themed and structured videos. But for now, I just need to use my channel here to vent.
she gave away them. She couldn't even hang on to it. I, I, I can't keep getting my hopes up that she'll just be normal. Like she's at death's door. She's just old and she's slowing down. And you would think in her last whatever, what, is it weeks, months? I don't think she's got years left. I really don't. Not at 99. She'll be 100 in September. It's, um, it's April now. April 2023. You would think maybe. So that's why I don't bring her plates of food. Um, no, I do. For Easter, I brought her a plate of food. I did, of course, because I still do. But I, I was kind of confident that those were things she would eat. Tonight, just to be like, well, I thought of you, so I brought you some of what we had, only to find it on the front lawn the next day. I just wasn't up to it. I just, I just wasn't up to it. Well, I can't chew that. Here, Ma, here's, here's the local magazine. They interviewed me. Here's a picture of me. Oh, I sent it home with Tina, one of her aides. I can't keep getting my hopes up that there will ever be a normal person on, on the receiving end of anything that I do or say. So I can have compassion and I can be responsible, but they, they just don't change. They don't change. 